sorry about that all right let me start let's go to the candles first um daily time frame uh let's just have a look at let's have three days let's see three days so the three-day candle printed yesterday uh what do you see well i see a lot of good things <laughs> but basically what you have here is a three-day uh, reversal pattern you've got two red candles you've got two green candles you see that and we fully reversed now uh the volume and un underneath that line there you see all of this little volume has been reversed so the price is now we're trading above all of the volume there it's a nice reversal that's been played out um on bitcoin i'm going to just do bitcoin and then i'll quickly have a look at the altcoins it's going to be a short stream so don't you don't have to wait for too long i'm just gonna be really quick okay uh so we have a nice reversal pattern that's 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 forming here and we have a quite a strong three-day close uh the reason why it's strong is exactly why i what i said it's closed above this kind of key line and also um it's closed above the previous candle high here okay technically you could technically okay this candle come could, could come all the way down and go up okay i'm not expecting that necessarily because it's quite a bullish reversal but technically it could and still be absolutely fine um and it would look bearish for a couple of days but it's still on the three-day time frame it would still look okay at the moment what you can see with this three-day candle is that at the moment we're consolidating in the wick of this green candle so that's kind of bullish to be consolidating in the wick because it could suggest continuation if you look at how the structure is uh you can see that you've got you just look at the bodies and just ignore the wicks and this is the three-day chart so it's quite a nice time frame because it gets out gets rid of all the noise you can see that you know you've got the bodies nicely lined up there you've got the bodies are nicely lined up there you see that you can see that's quite a nice uh rectangle and we've kind of broken down and we've kind of broken back in okay so that it looks quite pretty and this actually this whole this whole move to the downside here this wick and then these candles closing and opening and then coming back in is a little bit of a deviation this actually in itself is quite a strong bottoming pattern a wick and then a close and then an open it looks bearish but actually it's not this is actually quite bullish because it just shows a failure of bears to to push the price lower than the wick low okay close the lower close the lower not just not push the price but close the low price so i think that's quite a good um three day candles if you look at how the weekly is forming we've obviously started the week with this beautiful gravestone doji <clears throat> clearing the liquidity from the previous week low and the previous 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 week low but still holding a high low as you can see now we're we've been finding resistance into the previous week high we're still there we're still finding resistance we've poked above it and we're kind of just underneath the previous week high trying to see what happens um when you go to the daily time frame let me actually have a look at the two day because it's good to look at all the kind of the time frames you see the two days also looking quite bullish yeah uh you've again you've got the same idea these kind of three red candles three green candles we've actually closed above the previous candle high consolidating in the wick that's quite a bear, bullish idea hold on
So yeah, so again, you get the same ideas, you've got the same bullish ideas of closing above previous high, <clears throat> of consolidating in the wick. Go to the daily uh, time frame. Um, we had a nice, I mean, this red candle, I mean, it's a bearish candle because it's red. Uh, bears are in control. And as you can see, what the bears managed to do is not much. <laughs> All they really managed to do is come back down to this uh, previous previous day high back test it as uh, as a support level which corresponds to this previous uh, daily level and actually you know that's that looks like a hold that looks like a back test on the daily time frame uh, and what you're seeing today is a uh, a little buy up the buy up has been there's a little pullback on the buy up the reason why there's a pullback is because again you've gone into the daily level getting a little bit of resistance but what's interesting about this candle is that it hasn't made a new high yet so you can see there's a little bit of a uh, descending highs which is what you want to see because if we do break out we need to squeeze the shorts for a breakout to the upside if that's going to happen um can this candle go down of course it can it can always go down this candle can always go down and it can always take the liquidity from the previous candle uh, low, which would be the PD, PD low, and come back up to create a doji or something or anything really. Uh, so we have to see what happens. So there's every possibility that anything can happen. Um, but at the moment, what you can see is that this level is holding a support. So even though it would look bearish, it wouldn't, you're just coming back into test support. Yeah. So until you lose that with a close underneath this can previous day low, you're probably looking at uh, just and maybe another test of support possibly. All right. If we go down, it's not looking bad. And then obviously, if you break it down into lower time frames, we've been consolidating here now for a few uh, for a bunch of time. Yeah. This is all consolidation. Uh, this is all consolidation. See this four hour time frame. This is all consolidation. The great thing is we've come into the point of control and we haven't rejected yet. So let me go into uh, buy a bit. Uh, let me just quickly hide all of this. From yesterday. Okay, let me get my volume levels. Let me do those now. It's the wrong one. Where's my local volume? Okay, so you see the point of control of there has been acting as resistance. We've tested it once, twice, three times, four times. We're testing the, the point of control a few times now. And eventually what happens with the price is that the price tests an area many times, a level many times. And if it continues testing, it breaks. That's what happens. Uh, and so that's what we're trying to see if that plays out or not. Uh, if I update the volume, I can see the point control slightly lower, a little bit, not much change, not much change in anything else. Okay, so we still, we're still create this is all you see this structure it's all bullish yeah the bullish structure is higher lows higher highs we're still we're still creating bullish market this is bullish market structure high lows see that this is the four hour time frame um we're still in bullish market we haven't changed market structure yet to bearish uh technically this is the this is the higher low down here this is not a higher low yet because we haven't made a higher high. That's the higher high. Technically, this is the higher low. So technically, even if we were to kind of come back down to go up, that would still be fine because we could still put in a higher low here. At the moment, it looks like the higher low could be here, but not confirmed. It's not confirmed because we haven't made a higher high yet. So the minute the price is able to make a higher high, that will become your higher low. If the price isn't able to make a higher high, then we might be coming down to put in a higher low here, somewhere here, possibly, 
to continue to put and as, as soon as you do you have to make a higher high otherwise uh you know you could be going lower we could be trying to attack this low at the moment it's looking quite bullish um this is actually really bullish because it looks like the price is being bought up and it looks like you just keep on trying to make higher lows um but we haven't confirmed it yet with a higher high to take out that initial high which was the first high that went into the point of control so we just have to see how that plays out um but it's looking quite bullish and then obviously you've got your 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 volume levels which i've done let me um let me look at some other things quickly um what did we have yesterday so i'm going to zoom in a little bit to a lower time frame so yesterday was quite interesting because there was a few things going on on the slightly lower time frame well much lower time frame and what you can see here and i had this drawn out on my live stream yesterday is if i can find it let me have a look where's that nope channels it's that one isn't it so potentially we've got this kind of this trend line here had some short ideas they all actually <laughs> they all worked if you if you see how the prices come up it's making higher low uh, lower highs here uh short at the moment you can see that people are shorting into the point of control but every single time it goes up you're making a lower high and it's it's taking liquidity from the point of control this is the low to beat my idea for a long yesterday was a sweep of the lows down here as low as possible and uh, there's some single prints there as well so that's still that idea is still hasn't changed yeah are oh, the single prints are lower uh, this is still possible you know we you can't ignore the fact that just because it's looking quite bullish that the price could easily come back down to go up i think it was the value area um on this fixed range yeah so i had this fixed range let me expand it okay so that's your volume area you can see the uh, actually you can see that the the point of control is in the highs of this local volume it's it's a quite a balanced volume profile if you look at the range it's not lopsided it's quite balanced so when it's balanced like that it's not as bearish as if the if it was like this and there was low volume like that it just shows you in the volume profile that is the highest volume node but actually it wouldn't be hard for the if the price came down here for the point of control to flip to the bottom so i wouldn't get bearish on that volume profile yet and when you're looking at the lower time frame on the five minute time frame we haven't taken out this low here now yet just yet so we're still on <laughs> five minutes we're still holding on to bullish market structure if we do take out that low that will be a lower low and then you'd have to make a higher high otherwise you would be again back into like bearish five minute market structure we'd be probably looking for lower to see if the market structure can change again so the five minutes the five minute market structure has been changing quite a lot uh, it's a good kind of early warning system to see the five minute market structure change also yesterday what we were looking at uh was a, a f an adam and eve which failed okay it was a bearish adam and eve let me have a look because i think i drew it i drew it but i don't have it anymore so it then so there was a there was a bearish adam and eve forming yesterday you see that on the slow on the lower time frame that's an adam and eve uh and then as you can see what happened was i closed my positions when i saw that 
and you have a neckline here and the price went down and the Adam and Eve pattern was uh, rejected so you had an invalidated Adam and Eve which actually is bullish um, so actually you see we're forming bearish patterns which are being invalidated so that's actually quite bullish if the bears were in control you would have follow three follow through on uh, the back tests here you'd have continuation that would be the the chance for the bears to get involved if this if because that's a very easy to see bearish pattern forming so you'd expect the bears to load up at the neckline and what actually happened was it just created it just you had a change of market structure here and the price went up so when you're seeing bearish patterns get invalidated that's quite bullish it's quite bullish to see that and so you you kind of need to see bearish patterns because you want shorts to enter and eventually that's how you squeeze the shorts so like right now you're looking at the this uh price action i'm looking at a head and shoulders yeah it's very easy to see uh, a lower time frame head and shoulders you need that to form because what happens is the bears get involved and actually there's no follow through and then they get squeezed up and you just end up putting in a higher a higher low again another higher low on a slightly higher time frame yeah so this is what i'm kind of expecting i'm not expecting a bearish and bearish move to the downside just yet just because i can see that the structure that's forming is is we're creating higher lows here you see that so i'm not yet i'm not yet expecting a move to the downside and we have to see what happens i'm expecting some kind of tightening range here which as far as i can tell it looks like consolidation underneath the major resistance level which is uh the range point of control um so it's these op these are opportunities to buy every time you get a little bit of a dip yeah and if you're not sure just wait for market structure change on the on the lowest time frame like just like we practiced yesterday uh, and once you see the five minute market structure change or begin to change then it'll be a good opportunity to load up for uh, a move to the higher 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 prices the market structure on the five minute time frame has to change first so right now you can see that we're making higher higher lows higher high that's your higher low we haven't taken out that low yet we're still holding it wants to take it out look look it looks like it wants to wants to take it out it's not confirmed yet you take that out that's going to be a lower low then the market structure has to put in a lower high and a lower low to confirm a five minute market structure change but it could quite easily go down put in a a lower low here and go up i don't see why not uh get the bears involved get the bears looking at this uh this uh, pattern get them bearish get a little bit of volume into these lows um, but actually what you're doing is on a slightly higher time frame so even though the five minute is trying to become bearish what you're actually doing is on a higher time frame let me have a look you're probably just trying to put in another higher low here um, and it's not really a higher low it's just it's just a formation of some kind of pattern like this you see that some kind of wide pennant or something like that like a flag not a flag because a flag usually has lower lows but it's like a little bit of a pennant where you're making lower highs higher lows come down here and then hopefully we can see if we can attack the top it would be good to see the point of control in this local range come to the lows here with the price action coming down here if that happens that'll be the first, that'll be like a real easy signal to for the price ready to explode to the upside i think the price is going to explode to the upside there might be a fake out of the lows maybe a i don't see a swing failure at the moment yeah so i'm not really expecting swing failures but you could always get a swing failure it's always possible to get one you should always be prepared for one fake out to break out yeah fake outs to break outs are always possible 
So never be surprised if they happened. And it'll be easy to see a fake out to break out because you'll have a you'll have a you'll have the price go down, take the lows, and then you'll see a swing, you'll start seeing swing failures. Yeah. That will be your entry. Uh, it'll look bearish because you'll be losing this value area low. But as soon as you get back into the value area low, then you'll know that actually what's happening is a little bit of a fake out. Uh, and then you could probably confirm that by looking at the order flow. I think right now every dip is a little bit of a buying opportunity. And you see right now that the price is trying to make a lower low here on the five minute. It's trying to, but it's not that it's not crazy bearish because it hasn't it hasn't managed to just yet. You know, so if we, if we were getting really bearish price action, it would have happened by now. So because the bears are kind of really in really struggling, then I, I get this idea that the price really wants to move up. It really wants to go up. I don't think people are, are selling. Actually, it doesn't look like people are selling right now. Uh, we're getting traders trading. You're not really getting people selling. Um, let me quickly have a look at the order flow and see what's going on. All right. So you see, oh, look at that. That's like, that's like bullish divergence staring at, staring right at your face. Don't even have to, I don't even have to describe it to you guys. You can see for yourselves by now that we can clearly see bullish divergence, CVD divergence. You can see the CVD is making lower lows here. You see the price is making higher lows. Yeah. Uh, this is extremely bullish because the price is just being absorbed, absorbed. Any, any selling is being absorbed. Market selling is being absorbed. The CVD is going lower. The price isn't. So you really want to, you definitely don't want to be shorting this. You want to be longing this. Yeah. If you short this, your price is going to be absorbed. Your, your shorts are going to be absorbed. You can see that. Yeah. You'd never be shorting this because you can see you're, you're just, you're just, you're just shorting and the price isn't going down. So actually what you're looking for are long entries. Yeah. Uh, right now, because at the moment the market is buying. <laughs> the market is buying. You can see in this whole range consolidation underneath resistance, which is the point of control of the range. You can see that overall, uh, we haven't really had crazy bullish divergences, but recently, so since the lows since last night, since midnight last night, since just before midnight, it's about 8 a.m., uh, 8 p.m. to now, we, we have like really bullish CVD divergences. Yeah. So if this was not divergent, the price should be down here now. Right now, it should be about 65, 7. It should be $1,000 lower if this wasn't divergent. But it is. Yeah. So, yeah, that's quite good to see. You want to be longing. But now you'll be looking for long opportunities. Um, you'll be looking for long opportunities. Uh, every dip right now is a long opportunity. The best entries are going to be golden pocket entries or swing failures of local tight local price action or at the range low. The range low being this volume range, and I think that's what's happening. I think the price is just being absorbed, and we're probably looking to break out. It looks like it. Um, I don't really have anything else to say. I think we're just consolidation and if resistance bullish, we're holding this pivot high. That's bullish. You know, we're consolidating underneath major resistance level. That's bullish. It's all bullish. I can't see bearishness right now at all. Yeah. The structure is bullish. The price action is bullish. The CVD is bullish. We're holding this previous high. That's bullish. Um, the volume profile is, even though the POC of this mini local range is in the highs, uh, the volume profile is balanced. So I would say that that's quite bullish. Um, it just means that people are just accumulating that whole range. Um, so I see a lot of bullish things happening right now. So I wouldn't necessarily get bearish at all. Um, with if you if I do a volume profile on this kind of slightly wider lower range, you can see that we're still above the value area low. Uh, sorry, high. Um, if there is one fake out, yeah, uh, on a four hour time frame, this is the higher low. Okay. If there is one fake out, if there is one final fake out. Yeah. I'm not saying it's going to happen. It doesn't look like it wants to happen because of the bullish CVD. Uh, but you never know, like just be prepared. 
if there is a fake out to break out, uh, then this is the best place to buy uh, the golden pocket from this pivot to that pivot uh, and the value area higher of this lower range. It's overall over lower range. And what you'd want to see is you want to see a reaction. You'd want to see a reclaim of this pivot. Um, um, and then you'd want to see the price get back into the, the high, this local value area high and you'd probably see a nice squeeze up. So this is if there's not enough um, shorts to punish, this will be the one. This will be the final attempt. This will be the final blow to the shorts, like a bear trap. This will be a little bit of a bear trap if that happens. So always be prepared for a bear trap. Don't get bearish if it's a trap. You, if you see a trap, um, then be a bull to spring the trap and kill the bear. Kill the bears, and then push right up. I'm not saying this is going to happen. Just because I, I see the massive bullish CVD performing at the uh, since last night, all right. But anything can happen, you know. When New York opens, anything can happen. On the daily time frame, that would look like uh, a swing failure of uh, the previous of the previous of the PD low. So it's good to have these levels on your charts. Previous day low, you know is a good level to have there it is that's the pd low the price could always go down swing failure the pd low and go up all it would look like on a daily time frame after the daily candle printed is a wick going down just like this taking out a previous wick and then pushing up that's all it, it is it, doesn't, it won't look terrible it would look like this a, a wick going down taking the previous day low and then pushing up yeah it happens a lot you see here it happens a lot so if it was to happen it wouldn't be a problem yeah I'm not expecting it but it could happen look at this this happened here as well it happens a lot when you go down you go down fake out it's a fake it's again a fake out to break out idea I'm not necessarily expecting it but it could happen everything anything could happen it'd be like this it'd be it'd be exactly like this see that PD low, go down, fake out, push up. Something like that. Mm -hmm. You could also see something like this. Uh, but I'm not really expecting this either, actually, because we're underneath a major resistance level, which is the POC. I think right now, daily open is going to act as support. We're coming into daily open now. So we this is daily open. That's right now our support level. I think the lower we go, the more aggressive the buys are going to be. Okay. So if we lose daily level, the bears are going to enter. The bear is going to get bears are going to start getting involved, trying to push the price down. And then, you know, I think the price will start struggling as it gets to about 50% down into this daily wick, all the way down to the low. I think the bears will start struggling and you could get a little kind of fake out to go up. So that's only if there's not enough liquidity to push the price up at the moment. It looks like there's a lot of interest to push the price up. My early warning system is Slurf. I've been telling people about my early warning system. <laughs> and uh, naturally, uh, 